Yo guys, what's up? Let's go the year. Wow, well, like like this is absolutely insane, guys. I'm astonished. Um but yeah, thank you all. Thank you, Subnova. Thank you, Fl Netflix. Thank you for all the people that have not only helped me grow, but also been there for me. Um, game together, do stuff together, and. You know, it's like over this last year alone, <laughs> it's been hectic. Um, I'm I'm at three point two k subs. Um, which is wow, like. You know, I thought I was going to be stuck in limbo between, like, 2,000 and 3,000. But, you guys just blew up that video, I guess. And <laughs> well, actually, it was two different videos that, um, like, got 500 subs each. So, those two... Well, okay, so those two were videos that I never show on my channel, so, but still, like, that is insane. <laughs> um, like, you guys are nuts, but honestly, like, thank you all, and thank you for the support, um, thank you for Remember, this isn't this video isn't just the three year anniversary. I passed two hundred fifty thousand views total on my total overall total on my YouTube channel before the three year mark. That is crazy. You guys are nuts. So I am kind of shivering because it is cold in my room. Um, yeah, I got to like negative thirteen last night. Yeah, that's cold. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was definitely. It's been a wild ride so far on YouTube. It. But, I know I'm not the best at uploading, um, like, every six days. Because I'm just super busy, guys. I, um, I'm gonna set a set, like, day now. Every Friday. Every Friday. I am going to be uploading. A video. You better be prepared. Because how many weeks are in a year? Well, okay. It's already February. But it's like 46 weeks still. So that'll be 46 videos. Okay, the only times I won't be able to upload a Friday is... Uh, the Friday between March 19th and the 25th, and in June. Uh, it's like June 9th or so to, uh, I don't even remember. It's the time I'm going on, on vacation. Um, those are the only two times I won't be able to, at least what I know right now. So, that's going to be like 44 weeks in. 
Um, but honestly, I am here to grind. And thank you all for supporting me, watching the videos, subscribing, sharing out. People may uh like change their names to, uh like. Well, one of them is uh K two is the best, um. And then, I don't uh, but honestly, thank you all, and then thank you for the recurring viewers, especially, um. Especially people from years like a year ago that sticking me with just like a month is crazy, I think. Because not only are you coming back for the video, but you're coming back to see me, which is an ADHD and uh, and I have autism. But that's that doesn't have to really do it with anything. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of does, but like, like when I'm playing with my best friend, uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but when I'm playing with him, I because I have these things, I kind of go like extra retarded I got um there was one video that he was in um it was I instead of getting my audio cause I, I wanted it to, where it wouldn't get him like saying anything but instead of him not saying anything it was my it wasn't me saying anything, so, and that was a glitch in Cold War, it was like the gun glitch or whatever. But then everyone like, thank you for the com for coming to the K two Empire. Um. But anyways, I think we should show you. I think well, okay. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm doing, what the game development looks like, um, and also, so this is, okay, I do want to show you guys, but some of it is because my best friend Nick, well, okay, so he does believe me, but he also, um, so he kind of doesn't believe me at the same time that I'm making a game. So I'm here now showing it in a YouTube so in a YouTube video. So fuck off, bitch. <laughs> I told you I was making a game and I will make a better game than Activision, Treyarch, and Savage Hammer could ever do. Maybe not Treyarch. Because they did do BO2. That's when COD really blew up. But, yeah. <laughs> Everyone was like, Black Ops 2 for Christmas. Black Ops 2 for Christmas. Back then. Ugh. Good old days. That's when people were n not offended so easily. And everyone was sh shouting at each other. Yelling N-word. Uh, just saying everything that would be considered offensive now. It's like, bro, what the fuck? How do we go from that to offensive people 10 years? I'm like, y'all the ones that were probably yelling on Call of Duty. How are y'all offended? What the fuck? Don't fuck. But anywho. Well, it's mainly the women, um, because most of them are, uh, 
they have softer feelings, you know. But I'm not going to get into that. This is here just for non-political. So, I, yeah. Um, and so the reason why I, why I picked this uh, background was because uh, so this is actually what I use to make some thumbnails. Canva. Um, I need to do like the. I need to actually like make videos. I okay. Brain, stop. <laughs> Sorry, my brain works faster than my mouth can speak. Um, I picked this because. I just love nature, you know. I, I'm not a tree hugger or not. Okay, I don't. But, um, you know, I just love taking in nature, being out in nature. I mean, yeah, I'm on my PC a lot, and I don't really go out to the forest or whatnot that much. Right now, it's fucking winter and it's cold. <laughs> I mean, I like the cold, but it's cold because it's windy as fuck. Okay, I don't mind it if it's cold, but if it's windy, like any type of wind, one mile per hour, while it's cold, no. <laughs> I don't like wind cold. Wind cold is terrible. But when it's like summer like this, that's what I'm going to be doing between March 19th to the 25th. I'm going to be going to a lake that has a forest and I'm gonna be camping. I'm just by my uh just by myself and with some well, sorry. I'm just by myself with some friends and you know I'm gonna have fun time. Cold the water might be a little cold. We might have to fill the water to jump in or not, but like, we're going to hike a little bit throughout the trails. Taking the beautiful nature. Because I need a relaxing time away. And all that. But anyways. Let's go show you some game development. Oh, I'm not going to be showing off my game development, but I'm going to, I will be showing you the pro, kind of the process. Part of the process, I'm not going to show you because, because, uh, because then I sent the, no, oh, fuck, sorry. Um, because not um because it has to be because I want it to go all the way up to sixteen k resolution. I don't know if whoever wants to play at that, you know, they'll be able to, I guess. But um. Um, yeah. And also just because I can. Um, but, so, I go 16K, 12K, 10K, 8K, uh, 6K, 5K, 4K, 2K, 1080p, which is only 1K, um, 720p, 480 320, 240, 160, and 120p. So, yeah, it. And all those different resolutions aren't because your monitor is that good or whatnot. It's. With. Um. 
So yeah, you want to put the your monitor. So there's going to be two resolution types, right? So it's going to ha you want to put in your monitor's resolution. And then you for PC players put in what so whatever your GPU can actually hold like do on game uh like its resolution max out like 720p you know 1080p 2k for like it's made for 2k gaming then go to 1080p so go always go what i recommend this is what i recommend for best performance not only that but best looking possible okay go one resolution behind and okay yeah if you have a 30 series 40 series graphics card i know they say it's for 8k but it's really made for 4k okay 8k yeah it's now able to be 60 frames per second but i personally hate 4k and hate hate 8k because how much blue light there is compared to the others i get there's like srgb options and um different scalings and all that but i don't give a shit <laughs> it still has that blue light but okay Anywho, um, yeah, it, so, yeah, I'm not going to show that because whenever you upscale item, so, like, the higher resolutions, I think, like, past 4K, it takes, like, 20 minutes and above. The 16K takes usually about an hour and 20 minutes. Depends on the object size, of course. But yeah, it it's it takes yeah, and I don't want that. I don't want this video to be long, that long. So, and then also like all the stitching, uh, like let's say for example, which you guys already know, I made a sock ball. So, yeah, it so not only that right. Not only that, um, not only that, I, once it's, uh, resolution up, I have to put, um, patches on and actually make it, like, a deflated soccer ball, but, um, I also have to, like, if it's, you know, I get it, yeah, some people, some uh some most areas in the world have like the same stitching or what or not kind of but i want my game to be genuine on location on location on location on location right so every location i do like let's say for example i did it, example Well, technically, we're the only ones that call it a soccer ball. For anybody out of the U.S., uh, it's called football. Um, so the football, it uh, um, I want to, I want, basically, let's say it's from all the different countries, right? Let's say from Albania, Greece. Uh, India, Russia, Australia, Mexico, Canada. They're going to all have probably different stitchings of a soccer ball, right? At least one different. So I look up a soccer ball from every location. You know, like, okay, let's say if I was going to do that for, you know, all the different locations, right? I look up the stitching. And that's what I, that's the type of stitching that I'll put on it. Basically, it's just a, it's more of just like a, a string, uh, 
a thing, but you don't actually have to stitch the stuff because it's not a real item. Like, or not a real object. But. Hold up, pal. But. Um, but. Anyway, I want to be authentic on the type of stitching. And just authentic on everything. And if anyone is like, oh, that's racist. That's no. Because I'm putting in the effort in to looking up what these countries, what, how they do stuff, okay? I'm learning as well. That's mainly for the fucking Americans because Americans think everything is racist. But anywho, I should say about half of the country thinks everything's racist. I don't know why anything has to do with race at all, but okay. Like I said, this won't be political. Be quiet. Quiet. Okay. So th this is Mesh Mixer. I have Blender right here. As you guys can see. I have the Unreal Engine right here. I don't have the other like engines on here. Um, Just because like. Uh, you know. I don't want them. But, like here's Sculpt. Like okay there's all Mesh stuff. And shaders. And all that shit. And then, so I usually make stuff first on this engine, then I use a different engine, um, so I kind of do some shaping on this engine, um, and then the rest goes on a different engine and all that, so yeah. Do that. Oh, I thought it was going to be smaller. Can you not be like that? I don't want you to be in the ground. Mm. Okay, there you go. Okay. Mother. Okay, that's.
Control Z, I forget. No, I said. There you go. Okay. You guys could probably know what this is. I'm not going to say anything. You fuck boy. that there you go see how this looks okay Oh, okay. And see if that's perfect. Be a little bit bigger. How's that? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Set. Oh, but this video might be this, be this and oh, that's 
Okay, you guys probably already know. But this is going to be part of a stone castle. It was actually partially destroyed in World War II. Um, due to bomb, like, you know, plane, like American planes dropping bombs. Um, on, on the Germans. Was it, wait, hold up, was this, I mean, it was, yeah, it was rebuilt a little bit, but it's still not 100%, but I just want to, uh, because this, I gotta look up when it was destroyed, because, you know, I have the game that's World War One. so my game, you're going to be able to select time periods you want to play. World War One, World War Two, Vietnam War, Cold War. Like, okay, so the Vietnam War, yes, yeah, kind of in the Cold War area, but the Vietnam War is just gonna be, you're just gonna be basically playing in the Vietnam War, basically. The Cold War, you're gonna play in, uh, like with Russia. So, and then, um. And then you have modern, uh, then you have future, you have 2034, I think is the first year in the future. And then you have 2067, I don't know, 2068, you have, and then so on. I'm not going to tell you, but it goes to about 2300, I think. So yeah, there's a lot of time eras. And every time area, like, for the future, has future futuristic areas in each other. And, yeah, you know, and then, um, uh, it has a lot of other stuff, too. So, yeah, be ready for that. <laughs> but, probably unlike Activision, if they were ever do something like that, you can actually change. Let's say, yeah, you play a little bit of World War One. Let's go to the future. You know, like you can change it while in game. You don't have to restart it. You don't have to do shit. Yeah, it is nice. Um, to oh, oh yeah, I need to put a flag on this. Um, is there like a flat thing? Hey, I guess I can work. Okay, hold up, I gotta move this around. Okay. There we 
we go. As you can see, right, there's my soccer ball. I have not yet done it, but, or did I do it? I don't really remember. Okay, there we go. That's part of what I do, basically. And then in the other engine I port it to, I can make this right here actually like be a banner and like wave in the wind or just be still when there is no wind or barely any wind. Okay, basically, yeah. This is what I do. This is how I make stuff. This is this is basically how this stuff goes, okay? And for my I know my friend does kind of believe in me, but when he originally said like he didn't, he didn't believe me. <laughs> it pissed me off so fucking much. But I was like, oh, you know what I could do? I could put it in to the three-year anniversary video. Well, anyways, this is three years. That's part game design. And, yeah. It is... It is very time consuming, you could tell. <laughs> I mean I did talk for a bit, but yeah, it's uh this is why I don't really record any videos like I'm game designing or anything. Especially designing objects because it just takes forever. But yes, thank you for all the like once again, thank you all. For the views, thank you all for the subs, thank you all for the support. Um, right now I, uh, right now I have a lot of videos waiting, so that's also why I kind of want to do every Friday because I have a lot of videos and they're taking up a lot of space, um, on my PC. Like, I think I have 200 gigs in videos. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a lot. Um, well, actually, I think I actually have like three, 400 gigs in videos. Wow. But, anywho, you guys don't have to deal with storage. I do. Um,. I hope you guys enjoyed, and like always, K2, out.